What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with some brand new WWE action figure news, and we got some good stuff coming forward, and I can't wait to hear what everybody's opinions are, and I'll, of course, dive in and give my own thoughts and opinions on everything that we're covering here today, man. But we have some good stuff coming from our man Collector's Insider over on Instagram, man. So he does, he's, he's bad at a thousand, man. Never, he has never missed. He's never missed so far. He, you know how we always say on the channel, nobody bats a thousand? Well, <laughs> he's coming to change the game, because he's been batting a thousand, so I would say i mean everything's subject to change of course things can you know go off course and whatnot but for the most part i'd say that everything that we mentioned in this video is probably going to come to fruition and like i said he has a proven track record so a huge shout out to a collector insider on instagram man but today we're going to be diving into a few things we got new ultimates we got new elites we got different things going on i can't wait to hear your opinions on it so let's shut the hell up and dive into it so diving into it first man we do have wwe elite series 110 right here and at the beginning we already knew a few figures in this way but it does look like we have the full entire wave now revealed to us and we're going to go through each individual figure and break down the set man let's go ahead and dive into the figures we already knew about that we've already seen coming we've seen render images and whatnot first up we do have kit wilson and elton prince of course we do know that these figures are coming i do believe we saw these back at ringside fest so if i'm not mistaken maybe it was like a month or two ago we did get some updated render shots of these figures and they look good i think they're going to be okay they're going to pose well hopefully but they look like the characters portrayed on television so i think these are going to be okay figures but we did know these were coming in wwe elite 110 moving on forward we also knew that we were going to be getting bruno san martino we had that legends greatest hits figure that was going to be target exclusive we do know that it was about to release actually in that same wave with ultimate warrior british bulldog honky tonk man that entire wave right there that was originally that this figure was about to come out it was so close i mean i know there's a warehouse full of these there's just no way that there's not however this bruno san martino figure did get moved to elite 110 and he is going to be showing up right here so we do know that that greatest hits legends bruno is going to be moved to elite 110 of course to join kit wilson and elton prince and what's wild about this entire wave is there's actually seven figures in the set so that's already three next up we do have butch or pete dunn now we do know that they've kind of teased that pete dunn would be getting his name back but i imagine i don't know if when this figure releases if they'll change the name on it or if it'll still be butch i guess it'll still be butch technically so we'll have to see about that and apparently he's gonna be the chase figure in the set which is actually really that makes me hella excited man i love pete dunn always been a big fan of pete dunn and i hated the butch gimmick i didn't like the way they portrayed him on tv i didn't like the look of him and everything Thing like that so i am really happy to get uh, a pete dunn man pete dunn's gonna be great really excited to get a, a pete dunn figure in here i think that you know and we're gonna get two of them so we're gonna have a butch and he is the chase so we'll get two different gears there the white gear looks amazing really excited for the pete dunn and now that i know we're getting two versions that makes the more the merrier i hella excited for that i'm definitely gonna be pre-ordering that day one also in the set we also have rhea ripley now this is very exciting of course we already knew about the figure like i said but the only new thing i've told you so far is that butch is the chase figure but also Rhea Ripley in this set is is amazing I love the white gear I do hate that she still doesn't show off all her tattoos I would like to see a dark attire with all of her tattoo work so you can see all of it and all those different things the new championship things of this nature I'm ho also hoping that we get to see an ultimate edition Rhea Ripley soon so that maybe that'll come then you know we'll get the world title new women's championship dark attire all of her tattoos included but they have said that they are going to scale up the musculature it's going to be much better than her elite 102 so this is a women's figure that I'm really excited about about this year. I think it's going to be battling Asuka for the top women's figure of the year when it's all said and done for 2024. But Rhea Ripley is coming in WWE Elite 110. And then we have the two new figures that we did not know about in Elite 110, man. Starting out first, we do have Austin Theory. Austin Theory returning to the Elite line in Elite 110. Now, it's kind of wild. We, this will be our fourth Elite of Austin Theory. And, you know, they do say that usually when people get chase figures, it means that they're probably not going to get a figure for a while. And that was in Elite 102. So I guess they, they said to hell with that brad so you got the elite 91 then you got the elite 102 the elite 102 chase and now you have the elite 110 austin theory and if i had to guess it would probably be him coming with the u.s championship and it's going to be his wrestlemania gear from his match with john cena if i had to guess if i had to make any assumptions or guesses or predictions on what this gear will be for this figure i'd imagine it'd be the gold gear with the austin theory it'll have the longer beard it'll be a thicker updated austin theory there not my favorite character but certainly it, it should make for a good figure hopefully his head's not too big and whatnot so we'll have to play that by ear but yeah Austin Theory is the next figure in Elite 110 and rounding out the set as the seventh and final figure in Elite Series 110 is going to be 
the tribal chief Roman Reigns returning to the main elite line here. I say that like he's been gone on some hiatus. The last time we got Roman Reigns in the main elite line was Elite Series 103 with the graphics on the boots and whatnot. We saw him back in the, the Stardust wave and the Street Profits wave back then. And it was a good figure as well, but hopefully, I do believe, this is, this is what I'm going to guess, I think that that Ultimate Edition head sculpt that everybody wanted the, with the tapered beard and the man bun and everything, I think we're finally going to get that. The beard that I've been waiting on for years. The head sculpt and the Roman Reigns that I have been waiting on for a very long time, man. I don't know what it is about them making me want to wait. Black Jogger Usos had to wait for years. Tapered beard Roman Reigns had to wait for years. Updated torso AJ Styles had to wait for years. So hopefully, it'll be worth the wait. But Roman Reigns here, I think it is going to be a promo gear i'd imagine it would come with the new world championship if i'm not mistaken i think that's that's what's going to be my guess i could be wrong about that but hopefully that will be the case because we we are getting the new world championship in elite series 109 with seth rollins so hopefully in elite 110 we'll get the new undisputed championship with our roman reigns figure right here and it should be a promo gear and maybe it'll be in his track suit with a man bun maybe an interchangeable head skull but I just pray to God this figure doesn't have the John Cena shoe mold. That's my only request. Just no John Cena shoe mold. No Shane McMahon joggers mold. I, do, I swear to Jesus, man, if I see Shane McMahon jogger mold or like that rock, you know, promo, like sweatpants, mankind style mold with the John Cena shoes, I'm going to throw myself off a bridge. So hopefully that will not be the case. We'll get the tapered beard, brand new head sculpt that we've been waiting on. Pissed off, great looking, handsome Roman Reigns. And we'll get it in a tracksuit with some brand new sculpts and it'll be the best damn Roman you've ever seen. So that's what I'm hoping here for Elite 110, but I hope that I'm not setting my sights too high there. But that is our Elite 110 way from Collector's Insider. You have Roman Reigns, Austin Theory, Butch, who is the chase figure. Again, Pete Dunne slash Butch is the chase figure. Rhea Ripley, Kit Wilson, and Elton Prince, and then you have Bruno San Martino to round out our way. But that is not all of the stuff we have, man. We also have some new Greatest Hits Elites coming soon. Now, this is very interesting indeed. We do have four different members leaked about the Elite Greatest Hits line. Now, I don't know if there's more Elites to come in this Greatest Hits line, or if there's only four in this wave. So I imagine it'll be six in the wave, but we'll have to see about that. But the first figure in this next Elite Greatest Hits wave is going to be none other than Hulk Hogan. Who would, who else would it have been, Brad? Not to mention his Greatest Hits Ultimate that is coming this year, and not to mention his two other Legends figures that are not known about this year. So we have the Ichiban Hogan, who's also the Chase. You have the three-pack that just released. You have the regular Legends. You have two more Legends coming, and then you have this Greatest Hits figure. So they are just pumping this man out, as we always know. But Hulk Hogan, lots of different figures it could be, and I'm actually going to make a pitch for what figure I think it's going to be. And if I had to guess, I think it's going to be one of two figures. You can let me know what you think down below. I think it's either going to be the Elite 34 signing autographs at the con, Hulk, Hulk Hogan, from Elite Th Series 34, like I said, or I think it's going to be the American-made ringside exclusive. Now, I don't think... They're just going to redo ringside exclusives in the Greatest Hits line. I just don't see them doing that often, so it probably won't be that. So it leads me to believe that it will be signing autographs at the con, like looking, you know, chilling at the autograph table, signing stuff, post-retirement Hulk Hogan version. Because if you look at the defining moments from back in the day, we pretty much have had that figure a few times over now. I guess it could also be the defining moments, but it looks like so many other Hogans that we've seen, so I don't expect that. I also expect this figure to have the updated tan, regard like re depending on what era and what figure they do. But the Legends figure is kind of a re-release of the Hall of Fame Hogan that we saw back in the day. So I feel like they wouldn't do that version. So I don't know. And I don't think they would redo the Elite 91 this soon, right? I don't know. Every other Hulk Hogan that they could do, unless they're giving them the updated torso and tan of a Hulk Hogan we got in the last couple years, I don't think they would just redo those. So I don't know. We'll have to see about that. But the next figure in the Elite Greatest Hits is going to be Randy Orton. Now, as a massive Randy Orton guy, I'm, I'm pretty happy about this because there's a few figures they could do. Now, I do have two that I'm narrowing down in my mind. There's a there's a lot of different ones they could do, but I think that Randy Orton, I think it'll probably be the Elite 35 in the blue gear, which is a beautiful looking attire. I would love for it to be that. You give him a different head sculpt. Don't use that same damn head sculpt. Change the head sculpt. I know they've done it in the past. They need to do it here. Give it the double jointed arms. With the blue gear would be really cool to see. Or I think they could do the WrestleMania 34 Elite because that figure is abysmal. That's one of my least favorite Mattel releases ever is that Elite 34 Randy Orton. That's another video we need to do. Top 10 or just my least favorite WWE Elite Mattel releases of all time. That would be on there. That figure was abysmal. Head sculpt was abysmal. The gear looked nothing like his actual gear. It was just abysmal. What a terrible figure. Just awful. So uh, if they do that figure, they need to update other things. I hope they don't just straight up re-release that figure. That figure doesn't ever need to be re-released.
least. That, that, they need to delete that figure. I don't even have it in my collection. I made a custom because this one's abysmal. Next up, we have Rey Mysterio appearing in the Greatest Hits line. Now, there is a plethora of Rey Mysterio figures they can do. Just pick your poison, Brad. There are so many different ones. We're going to pop up some different ones here on the screen. You can do the Elite 1. You can do the Elite 5. You can do the Elite 11. You can do the Elite 13. Hell, you could do the Elite 67 from WCW. You could do the Elite 32 from WCW. You could do the WrestleMania 26 Avatar attire or whatever the hell it was in the blue. So, I don't know, man. There's just lots of different Rey Mysterios they could do. It's Again, it's pick your poison. As long as it's not one that we've gotten, I guess, here in the last couple years. I mean, I guess they could even do the damn Mysterio gear. I feel like that two-pack with Samoa Joe, I feel like nobody saw that figure. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that could be a good release for the greatest hits line would be the Mysterio attire, WrestleMania 35 Elite that came with that Samoa Joe 2-pack, which was such a random 2-pack, by the way. That would be a really cool release as well. So I'd see that, double jointed arms on that figure. I always wanted multiples of that figure, never had an opportunity. Only have one of them. I'd love to get more for the gold boots and whatnot. So that would be a cool release too. So I don't know. We'll have to see about that. But the last figure that we have for here for these little leaks or whatever the hell you want to say is going to be AJ Styles in the Elite Greatest Hits Wave. Now, this is kind of bummerific for me because the only re way that I would want a Greatest Hits, similar to like Hulk Hogan, unless they're going to give him the new Sin Cara torso and tan. I don't I don't want to see a AJ Styles in the Greatest Hits wave, man. I feel like all, all of his figures that he's ever had from Mattel, besides the Elite 104 and the Ultimate Edition, have really lacked in a lot of ways. I think that some of them have some good qualities. I like the Elite 56. I like, I like the Elite 51. I liked his first Elite in the Elite 47 and even the Network Spotlight. Like, he's had some cool figures in terms of gear and whatnot, but that Daniel Bryan torso and the weird looking hair and just the how small he I just have never been a big fan of the AJ Styles figures. They could be so much more improved and if they were to give him the Sin Cara torso and the tan, it would be immaculate. I would be aboard all day. I'd be super excited for this figure. I don't see them doing that. You know, we've kind of talked about that before. I've asked them about Greatest Hits figures, right? They didn't update the cash-in Seth Rollins. It was just a straight re-release of the Toys R Us exclusive. So I don't think that they would ever change that formula. They've even came out and spoke about it. So I just, you know what I mean? I don't have high hopes that they're going to change that. So I don't know. I feel like they would do it for somebody like Hulk Hogan, maybe. Maybe, but I don't think they're going to be doing that for AJ Styles here. So that's why I just think it's going to be bummy. So I'm not really pumped about AJ Styles whatsoever. I should be, but I just, I don't know. I think double jointed arms will be cool, but I'm, I just do not like the torso and formula they use for his old figures. So this is kind of shish. And then rounding it out, we have some more ultimates. And this is going to be greatest hits ultimates. And I saw a lot of people clamoring online that this is, this is trash. And you guys can tell me what you think here. The first one is going to be Batista in the ultimate greatest hits wave. I feel like this figure came out yesterday, so I really don't understand why he would be an ultimate greatest hit already. This was a perfect opportunity to use Finn Balor. Like, Demon Finn Balor here would have been perfect. I feel like the Demon Finn Balor is just, God, man, why, just give him the Seth Rollins torso with the pinless joints. Hell, even the John Cena. One of the John Cenas with pinless joints would have been perfect, but we're getting Batista here, again, which I feel like just released. I have enough of this figure already. Completely skippable for me. But then the other half of the ultimate Ultimate Greatest Hits is going to be The Rock, man. And you know that the, the Target Exclusive Legends Rock just released not too long ago. So I highly doubt they're going to give us the Amazon exclusive version with the, the Brahma Bull t-shirt and all those things with the updated Legends Target exclusive Rock Ultimate Edition torso with like the, because that first version didn't have butterfly joints, I'm pretty sure, and then, or pinless joints, and now this updated Legends Target exclusive Ultimate did have pinless joints with the butterfly joints, and now I'm pretty sure this is going to be Bald Rock. This is going to be the Ultimate Edition Series 10, the same series as the John Cena. I'm pretty sure this is going to be this version of Rock, man, so I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I I don't like this wave particularly for Greatest Hits. You guys can let me know your thoughts on that right there. But that is the Ultimate Edition Greatest Hits wave. We're going to get The Rock and Batista. You guys can chime in down below. But we also have some basic figures here. And the new basic wave, Basic Series 148. We have a few different ones here. You have John Cena, who is apparently going to be the chase figure. You also have Hulk Hogan, Carmelo Hayes, Roddy Piper, and Caden Carter. So this is, uh, you know, decent little people right here, man. I like that we're getting a Roddy Piper. I like that we're getting John Cena obviously love John Cena. Hulk Hogan, I just hope that it's a different take and we get like a different outside the box gear and it's not just yellow and red. Carmelo Hayes, interesting release there to go with his elite. And then we have Caden Carter, which again, I'm, I feel like we've already seen that figure if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I'm tripping, but 
I think, or maybe that was like a leaked lineup a while back or something like that, I think. I don't, I don't know. I can't remember exactly. But Elite 110, we have Ultimate Edition Greatest Hits. We have more Elite Greatest Hits figures. And then we do have WWE Basic Series 148. But I think that is all the news we have, man. I don't know. I love that we're getting Roman Reigns and Elite 110. Elite 110, I'm pretty excited about. I think Elite 110 is going to be solid. I know it's it's pretty much all modern day talent besides that Bruno San Martino that they had to kind of force in there. But I think in Elite 109, we have like Seth Rollins and we have Cody Rhodes coming. So lots of big names and like some main event talent that is coming in the next few waves, which I'm excited about. Of course, Elite 107 just arrived not too long ago. So Elite 108, Elite 109, and then 110, man. I feel like that's so far away. And that Elite 110, Rhea Ripley is still coming with the old SmackDown Women's Championship. So Good God, by the time that is, I mean, that's going to be like SummerSlam time, I feel like, before we even get Elite 110. Maybe it'll be before that, hopefully, but we will have to see about that. But that is pretty much going to wrap up the news, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. We, we have gotten some new sign-ups over the last few days, but a huge shout-out to Noah freaking Cacone for becoming an Extreme Division member. Huge shout-out to you, brother. Thank you so very much for your support here on the channel and a huge shout out to all the patreon members man appreciate each and every one of you guys but that is going to wrap up the video man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy let me your thoughts on all this news down in the comment section below where you stand what are you grabbing what are you skipping i feel like a lot of flashback collectors have been able to skip some waves man because there's not i mean what do we you don't see a lot of flashbacks but i guess we are getting the legends waves and we're getting these store exclusives that have a lot of flashbacks in it but as far as main line i mean bruno san martino that's really the only flashback that we saw here in this in this main elite wave so we'll have to see man but i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next one leave me your thoughts and i'll catch you later <laughs>